We want to host our React and Node.js application and we handled the Node.js part in the previous episode. Let's see what we need to do for the front-end part. To start, we navigate to the project on the command line and open it in the code editor. So we host the application using GitHub pages, which means that you should have a GitHub account and also Git installed on your PC. So I have a Git and GitHub complete tutorial on the channel, so you can check it for how to set up Git and GitHub on your PC if you don't have the setup already. The next thing we need to do is to visit GitHub. Now if you have an account, you can just go ahead to sign in. Otherwise, you can enter your email here to create a new account. So once you've logged in, you want to create a new repository for our project. So we click on the plus icon here and choose a new repository. So at this point, we give the repository a name. Also, we can give it an optional description. Now we choose to make it either private or public. If you need any of these things, you can check it. Otherwise, you can create the repository. Now at this point, we copy the link here and add it to our local repository. So we go back to the command line. Normally, you are supposed to run git init to initialize your project into a git repository. But when you use create react app, the resulting project is already a git repository. So you don't need to run git init now. We can go ahead to link this repository to the remote one we just created by using git remote add. Now at this point, since we've already hosted the backend, we need to update all references to it in our frontend code. So let's visit the backend on Heroku and copy the link. Now back in the code editor, we look for all the references and update them. So we have the main reference in our Redux action file, so we update the remote link here. Once we've done that, we set the remote link as the current link. Now at this point, we set up the GitHub pages. The first thing we need to do is to install the GitHub pages model. While the package is installing, let's visit the package.json file and make some changes. So at the bottom, we add the home page key. Now at this point, if you have a custom domain, you can add it here. Otherwise, you make use of your GitHub username and the name of the repository. So the first thing is your GitHub username, .github.io, and you pass the name of the repository. Also, under the scripts, we will add a deploy script. The first thing we add is the pre-deploy. This will have the value of npm run build. So for React, npm run build will generate static HTML files which the server can easily serve. Also, we add the deploy script itself. So after npm run build, a build directory is created for us containing the static files. So over here, we are telling GitHub pages to check the build directory for the static files. Note that the pre-deploy script will always run before the deploy script. Now we have to ensure that the build directory that will be generated has been captured in the .gitignore file because we don't want to push that directory to GitHub. Now at this point, we commit our changes and push it to GitHub. So first, we push to our master branch on GitHub. Now we deploy the page, so we use npm run deploy. Once it is done deploying, we visit our repository on GitHub. We visit the settings. On the settings page, we scroll to GitHub pages. Now our project should be live at the provided link and we can check it out. So that works, but we have a problem whenever we host React applications using GitHub pages. When we refresh on any other page apart from the root, we get an error. We are going to look at how to fix this error in the next episode.